most likely to get an infectious disease. <laughs> Severide. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta get out of here. We're out of here. Jesse uh, slash Casey, because he's always like going and exploring. <laughs> oh my God, Nick Gelfus. Me. Oh. Me. Yeah, I guess yeah, we'll throw that at me, you. Me, yeah, the, it would be me. I've gotten infectious diseases. It's David Eigenberg. Yeah, he's always, you know, there, there's something, he's sticking something in his nose or he's eating something off the ground. He's just, he's, he's always in a pickle. I'm going to give it to Manning. I'm going to give it to Dr. Manning. She's always in some sort of issue. So I'm gonna, she's going to end up with some sort of disease for sure. Probably me. Because oh, Jesse's a yeah. hypochondriac and he's always like daring me to like eat a piece of like foam in a, a gross factory that we are. And I was like, I'll do it for a $1,000. <laughs> and then he never pays. Oh my God. Uh, I mean, is that? It's uh, not sexual. It's just like, who has the worst luck? Bad luck, would be, I think, would be like David Eigenberg. I think Eigenberg. Yeah, poor David. <laughs> Ruzek, for sure. Actually, you know what? David Eigenberg. <laughs> Everyone's been saying that. He is a nutbag. We did this like 5K mud run and he loved it so much. He He's like, I'm going to do it room. again. And he runs back, cuts his knee, falls into the dirty water and then ends up in a hospital. Huge yeah, he had a massive infection. And he lost they put his him leg. On, yeah, they put him on antibiotics. Jesse from Fire. Because it's always the hot ones. Oh. oh. <laughs> I was going to say. Probably the dog on fire. <laughs> That's a good one. Let's say the dog. Yeah, let's say the Tuesday. dog. Tuesday. Is that the dog's name? I think it's Tuesday. Yeah. Jesse. Jesse? Yeah. Just accidentally, though. It, it, it would be a pure accident. That's because he eats things that nobody else does. <laughs> His infectious disease would probably be from food poison. And most likely to flirt with the hot doctor in a stressful situation. Patty. Little Royce. Okay. Yeah. We've got to get our story straight. <laughs> Me. I went to the emergency room and did. <laughs> My ER doctor was super hot and I was like, so I'm gonna need to like get your numbers to talk about this medication that you're giving me after. There you have it. You just, just doesn't you land just, like that. You're plugging for names, aren't you? Find me. I would. Okay. <laughs> I would say Nick Elfus probably would be, he'd flirt with anybody no matter what the situation. He's just so darn charming, you know? LaRoyce. Le Atwater, Leroy's. Stella, it'd be Stella, it'd be, it'd be Miranda. Yeah, Stella would do that. I say Ruzek. Ruzek flirt with any, he'd flirt yeah. with a chair. Yeah. Okay, now see, this is the thing, that's gonna be David. <laughs> he doesn't even mean it, he's not sincere with the flirting, he's not trying to take it anywhere, it's just how he deals with it. It's sort yeah. of a pushing the stressful thing away mm -hmm. and pretending. And pushing the lady away at the same time. Pushing her away at the same thing. time, right, at the same yeah. time yeah. Maybe me. Tori. <laughs> They're basically all touring. <laughs> this is so awkward. I'm gonna go with Oliver Platt. You know what? He's a wily one, you know? <laughs> Leroy. But right next to me will be my friend Patty J. Fluger. Yeah. I'm gonna get in trouble with my girl, but that's true. <laughs> so oh wait, not real life stuff. We said, we said the same person. <laughs> No, I, we said no, the same person. We said, said the same person. Name, I said Stella. <laughs> right, totally. Yeah. So character name, real person. Yes, real person. Same, That's same human being. Yeah. Sorry, Miranda. I totally outed you right now. Sorry. Did you? Yes, yeah. I did. Totally. Just like threw you under the bus. <laughs> See? Exactly. <laughs> Most likely to get caught in a steamy love triangle. This girl right here. This girl is sought after romantically every day, all day, by every single person we come in contact with. Shite's true. The mail, that's not true. I would say Daniel. Definitely this girl. <laughs> Isn't that what's going on on Med, like with Nick and Natalie and all that stuff? Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe Nick, yeah. Uh, Annie. <laughs> Annie. She keeps to herself. She's pretty quiet. But she might get into a steamy love triangle, but you'd never hear about it. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor Kinney. Why? He looks like a candy bar. Like, the dude is, like, delicious. Uh, I would say Casey, Manning, and uh, Brett. Look, that last episode where Casey was saving Manning from that elevator, there were, I feel like there was some real chemistry there. And I talked to them and I was like, well, y'all doing that on purpose? And they were like, no. And I was like, there's something happening there. We were on the brink of it once with my brother and, and her. Remember my brother was coming at the end of the, one of our seasons? That's right. That's right. It didn't take off. Holiday dinners would be weird there. Yeah. Taylor Kenny. Merlin called him a candy bar. 
A candy bar? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna start referencing that all of the time. We we whisper his name. Yep. Severi, Severi, Severi. Most likely to run into a burning building because they forgot their cell phone. Patty. <laughs> <laughs> Patty's looking for his phone somewhere right now, exactly. as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go up there. Miranda, Miranda Annie. Mayo. Well, Annie, yeah. Annie. Any of the young ones. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, the children. Oh, LaRoyce? LaRoyce. Oh, okay, Patty and LaRoyce, sure. Yeah, I'm holding hands, LaRoyce. they're running in together. <laughs> Eamon Walker. And Jason Begay. Oh, they really? would, oh, yeah, those two, they would fight their way through hell. For no reason, just let go of the phone. David Eigenberg. Well, because David is insane, and only somebody like David would run into a building that's on fire to get a phone. So David Eigenberg. That would probably be David Eigenberg also. <laughs> he's like the go-to guy. I don't know that he's, he's all that forgetful, but he might run into a burning building just to save a dead cat. I don't know. Tor, I'd say Tori. Oh, heck no. I don't think so. Uh, I don't know, though. So maybe we'll have to go with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to get me in trouble, man. Nick Gelfus? I can see Nick doing that. I can also see, uh, I can see Minoso yeah. being pretty, you know, adamant about getting his phone. Maybe Taylor Kenny, depending on whose call he's expecting. <laughs> Jesse? Soffer? Jay Halstead? I mean, I see him with his phone a lot whether it's getting information and doing the social media thing. See, now that's gonna be David. Not for my phone. He's got a little, his little whoopee, his little teddy oh, yeah, bear that he there. keeps his go. whoopee tucked in his, in his bunker go. coat, yeah. uh, even during fires or whatever. Any other thing I can most likely do, I'll most likely do it. <laughs>